Hey everybody, uh, I do have the uh, ECS uh, video board installed here in my 500. I've temporarily taken out my uh, Kipler IDE 8 meg fast board. Uh, I think I can do a couple of things to make them both fit together. I'm just doing some testing here uh, on my screen. You can see um, it's running. Uh, to be honest, I mean the picture is very good. I mean it's very very good. Uh, but when I was using uh, my normal uh, Amiga uh, 520, uh, it's a Canadian version, but the uh, the video out still works. I was using this device here, and I was using one of these, which is oop, upside down. It converts uh, the composite to uh, HDMI. These were like around ten dollars off eBay, and I'm going to be honest. Uh, the picture quality was not quite this good, maybe 90% as good. And this probably cost $13 versus uh, $100. Um, so just an FYI, guys, I mean, you, this is definitely a, a nice board. And you definitely get a nice picture from it. But to be honest, even with just this, which I'm sure most of you guys already have, this plugged into one of these little upscalers. And it does... Uh, both NTSC and PAL uh, for ten dollars uh, you know the quality was pretty close so just a little FYI for you guys out there looking at buying one of these boards and saying it's a little too much money you might be good enough just getting one of these little bad boys and being pretty happy with it and displaying it on a regular monitor like this one so I hope you guys have a good night and thanks for watching